Hello guys and welcome back to Get Set Python. In this video, we will see how we can execute our Python file without writing the command like python3 hello.py and we'll see how we can run this file without typing this extension and this python3 every time. Uh, the second thing that we'll see in this video is how we can run this file from anywhere in the system without going into that particular directory. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So I have already mentioned all the steps that we need to take to make this thing work. And I'll put this in the description below too. So if you want to have a read, you can read it from the description. But now for now, we'll get started with the code. So you can have anything in your Python file. I'm just writing a normal print statement. Okay, and you can see that we can run this by typing python3 hello.py. But if we move to some other directory and if we try to run it, you can see that it shows us this error message. So we cannot run it from another directory. So now we'll come back to the original directory and see. This is working. So the first step is to add this shibang line as first line in your Python code. So I'm just copying this thing and I'll add it as the first line of my file. Now what it will do is it will tell us about the location of interpreter. Now I'm having two Python versions in my Ubuntu that is Python 3 and this Python 2.7. So I want to execute it using this Python 3 interpreter. So I have written the location that is slash user slash bin slash Python 3. And if we want to use Python 2, we can simply do this Python. And if you're using some virtual ENV, you can type the interpreter like this so you can have this thing here and slash home slash among slash your project name slash when or whatever virtual env you have set up slash bin slash python or python 3 whichever version you have there so this is how shibang line works and it will tell the location of interpreter. Now, once this is done, the next thing you have to do is to make this file executable. So for that, the simple command is chmod plus x and your file name, hello.py. And you can see that after entering this command, I can simply run my file by this dot slash file name dot py and you see this is working fine but still we cannot run it from any other directory by simply typing this thing so for that we have to copy this file to our bin and the last thing that is to copy it so i'll type cp hello dot py and we have to copy in home slash bin slash and here we can type the alternate name from which we want to call it. So for now just keep it welcome. So whenever we will type welcome it will run this script. So let's enter this and I will show you the contents of bin here and you can see that we have welcome here now these are the already made script that we can execute from anywhere but you, you can see that we have welcome here so if i just go back and type welcome you can see we have this thing right here and if i just make few changes in this script 
uh, let's see uh, I'll just type hello here and if I run you can see that this thing is different one from this one but if I just repeat this CP thing and I type again welcome you can see that this file name is now can be called using welcome so you can do this with any kind of script that you have uh, let me just show you this Bitcoin thing and you can see that we got the prices of Bitcoin by just typing this Bitcoin and this was already made executable by me earlier so you can see how simple it is to make your script run from anywhere now I'm just showing you by going into another directory so if I just do welcome again you can see hello and if I move to some other directory and try this welcome you see this works perfectly fine and you can go into any directory and it will work for you so this is how you can make your python script executable from anywhere in the system so the steps are first you have to enter this shebang line as your first line of code to tell the location of interpreter that you are using second is to make the file executable by typing this command plus x and your file name and lastly you just have to copy your file name to this home slash bin slash and if you want to have another alternate name you can type some alternate name here uh, let's say we'll call it welcome 2 and if we just run welcome 2 you can see it works perfectly fine so that's it from this video guys and i'll see you in the next video till then stay tuned bye bye and have fun with python